So the key for everyone is to protect their mitochondria. Yeah. I tell people the mitochondria are, are your team. Like I also tell everybody, I never eat alone. I'm, I'm eating with my mitochondria because what I eat, they get. Right. Ooh. And when you're eating carbs, they're being bombarded with free radicals. Processed carbs, sugar, processed foods and results in more free radical damage because there's slippage. There's loss of electrons in that electron transport chain which convert into free radicals. Your poor mitochondria, they have no defense except, well, they have some defense if you start getting into, well, first of all, you want to reduce those carbs, which was, is what yeah. keto diets do, fasting does, and same with algae. There's virtually no free radicals released when you're using algae. Yeah. And the other option is to remove the free radicals. I'm circling back to the original thought, which is the problem is the mitochondria have this inner membrane and traditional antioxidants can't get in there. Yeah. Vitamin E, vitamin C, as I mentioned, drug, nothing can get in there, except there's four that can. Chlorophyll, which of course algae has the highest concentration of, glutathione, melatonin, and superoxidismutase. Now, the great thing is your body makes those three, superoxidismutase, melatonin, and uh, glutathione. glutathione. And from the moment you're born until the age of 30, and then after 30, it starts to drop. It starts to drop until you're like 40, which is, you know, a lot of your audience. And 50, it's even worse. And 60, it's zero. And those are the antioxidants that can get into that inner membrane to stop free radical damage. But after 30, you're screwed. Yep. Algae has the highest concentration of all three of them in the world, and you can't get them. Superoxidismutase doesn't exist in any other food. Glutathione, there's the minuscule amount in meat, but otherwise virtually non-existent. And if you, even if you get a glutathione injection or drip or something, it has a very short half-life, which means it disappears in your body within about half an hour or an hour. So when you take it as a food in algae, you're constantly feeding in that glutathione so they can get in there to stop the free radical damage. Right. So you can, and so while the spirulina is stopping that free radical damage, by the time you're 30 or 40 or 50, you've also accumulated more and more toxins. Yeah. And that's where the chlorella comes in. Uh -huh. So they're like a team. They're your A-team. This will protect, <laughs> a -team. they will protect you. Yeah, algae team. It's the A-team. <laughs> and I'm Catherine Arnston, which is also an A. Oh my gosh. This is your A-team. <laughs> is the A-team. And honestly, they go to work for you every single day they never let you down. They always work. It doesn't matter what age group. But if you're in their 30, 40s and 50s, this is the answer yeah. because this gets rid of both of them have virtually create virtually zero free radicals. This one cleans up and removes the free radicals. And this one will pull out the toxins that have been accumulating over time. So they work very well. So generally people take this one in the morning because it also gives you energy and you know, satisfies your hunger. And then this one because your body goes through a detox repair cycle when you're sleeping. Yeah. So this will really up level that that's that process.